and congratulations. We knew it was going to be a big battle out there, but a lot of finesse as well. And I imagine you're delighted how quickly you could get through the match in this heat and everything that Wimbledon still got to throw at you. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a really good match. And uh, Steve also played uh, quite well uh, today. And I was uh, uh, in that second set uh, break up. He, he came back and was uh, definitely very tricky to close out that uh, second set. And obviously that uh, changed a little bit the momentum of the match. He started to play a little bit better towards the beginning of the third set and uh, he had a break, but I managed uh, just uh, to raise a little bit my game and uh, uh, in, in those moments Steve wasn't serving as good uh, as in the beginning of the match, so uh, gave me some chances, but uh, I took them and uh, played well until the end. I'm not sure how aware you were of his emotional state. He's obviously been through a lot recently with the loss of his father and change of ends and, and still in points. He was getting very emotional out there. Could, could you tell that? Uh, no, I was uh, focused on, on myself, absolutely, but, uh, but also at the end I saw that he was extremely emotional and uh, I'm really, really sorry definitely for, uh, for his loss and, uh, you know, he's one of the nicest guys on the tour that we have and uh, really, really tough for him, but uh, just uh, wish him all the best uh, for the rest of the year. In terms of your own game, you played so well at Queen's in the Netherlands and here as well. How confident are you feeling on this surface? Feeling very confident, playing very well. Uh, you know, these three matches I won in straight sets, so that's uh, extremely good for my confidence. I'm uh, definitely serving really good. Also today, uh, I had a lot of uh, free points on my first serve. That's always helping a lot, and uh, hope that I can continue with that good form. And now going to the second week of, of Wimbledon, which is definitely a great, a great thing. And uh, obviously, the matches are going to get tougher and tougher. So I'm uh, trying to get ready. I'm not sure if you've seen your next opponent. It's Roberto Batista Agu, who's also playing particularly well on grass. You've beaten him twice. He had the upper hand last time at the Australian mm -hmm. Open. How dangerous is he going to be on grass? I think very dangerous. Uh, uh, he's not the classic uh, Spanish player that we are used to used to see on the tour, and uh, he plays a lot of uh, flat balls and actually likes to play on, on hardcore, likes to play on grass, and definitely a big win for him against uh, K today. And uh, definitely I have to get ready as, as good as I can and to uh, try to play really good. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.